NXA knuckle assembly with the bearing inside, obviously. And I'm just gonna clean up the, uh, the edges here as best as possible, uh, these edges, and then take the snap ring out, clean it up a bit more, and then finally take it to the press and push out the bearing and put the new one in, then put the hub in and call it a day. But you can see here that uh, the problem right here is that the bearing broke internally completely. I mean, it seems like the ball started even falling out or just smashing in the pieces in there. So, yeah. Bad bearing. Just cleaning out the board for the ABS sensor. I just started off pushing out the hub first. I just held it in my between my legs and got this uh, 24 millimeter socket, pushed it down through, and it came out easy. The race came out with it. I could care less because I got a brand new race and a new bearing to come with it, so I don't care about that. Now the tricky part is taking off this snap ring. It is rough, and tough, and stuck. I'm gonna go get my uh, map gas and burn it up, burn up all the rust, re lube it punch it around see if it moves hopefully it'll move and then put it on the press here and press it out a good idea would be to take a little chisel a small chisel and on the grooves of the snap ring put it as close to the corner as possible and tap tap it in was already heated this thing up and put lube in it and I got it loose by tapping the inwards of the snap ring you know clockwise or counter you know just go in direction of the of the groove of the snap ring so this way tap it this way with the hammer I'm using this guy you can use smaller as long as you get it tapped and get it to move once you feel this guy wiggle then go through to the other one tap it tap it tap 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 make uh, tap it this way make it wiggle once you feel this guy wiggle you're ready for the snap ring pliers and then just see I already got mine's almost out this is the little dirt mark let's fit my camera can there we go so you can see this little dirt mark here I already got mine out I just need to pull it out and put my snap rings behind it no it's not the legit way to do it but if I wanted I'm just gonna put it right behind here I mean it's almost out but again what I'm gonna do is put the snap ring pliers now and but I can't do it with one hand it moves, but I just can't do it with one hand. I need to do it with both pressure and pull it out. So, yeah, at least you get the gist of it. Now, after you take the snap ring out, like you can see here, clean the grooves, take a pick, clean them up as best as possible. Take all the junk out. Then uh, I'll be using this guy. I'm using my roto, not my roto zip, my Milwaukee rotary drill with uh, my roll carus uh, brushes to actually clean out this area as best as possible because I can do better jobs with that, with this drill than a regular, uh, that guy, the wire brush. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this guy out as best as possible, lube it, clean it again, then clean it out with, uh, with uh, the 120 grit then 80, uh, 40 grit A120, then the emery cloth, then the uh, 1000 grit uh, wire brush. I mean, rokerist brush that goes on here. Alright, here's the bearing coming out. Hear that noise? That's, that's music. That's music. See, linear going down, perfect, not perfect straight angle on the press. Bearing should pop out any moment. Here it comes. You can see it. Yeah. It doesn't make it. Doesn't meet. I barely have any slack up top now. Now I'm almost I'm halfway down, so I'm gonna have to probably escalate another block here, un unwind here, make it go up, go another block here, and that'll give me enough slack to push the bearing out, whatever I need to take it out. As you can see here, I got a clean. You see these uh, snap ring grooves? 
pretty bad. Pretty much my uh, rotary drill. This is our little roofer kit. This is uh, from 40 to 120 grit and emery cloth. I don't, I'm not too good with the grits. But I do understand that the green one is the roughest one. That's the one I got here. Then we got the, or the brown one. Then we got the green one. Then we got the red one. Then we got this one that's, that is a thousand grit. This is what I'll be using to clean up this whole uh, bore and, uh, not the bore, the, the corners. Well, I'll, be, I'll just try to clean it up as best as possible with a snap ring, and that'll be it. I got a little fan here pushing away the dust particles, and hopefully I'll get this stuff cleaned up and pushing the brand new stuff. Now, as you can see here, I got it clean. Uh, now I'm gonna. Put some extra tacky, one pound out, high temperature protection grease, Schaefer's because I am a retail, I'm a Schaefer retailer, and uh, I'll be caking it up all over the place here, all the way up to the snap ring. And I'll be pushing that bearing in in a linear way, and and you know how it is, just keep on going at it. So this is step one, pushing the bearing in. Step two would be pushing the uh, this guy in the the hub. And, uh, but yeah, I just, we'll just go step by step. There she is. Everything is linear. Now we're going in because it started tilty a bit, but now it's going straight in. You can see here, I'm going to start going in. It's going to start pushing in. You can see the corners are perfect. Everything is square. Here, pushing in. You have a good push. Basically, going to go all the way in. So it can't stop going. Stop going in. I think I do see a caking up there of grease. I'm hoping it's all the way in. I'll try to zoom in on it just to make sure. Let's see. I might think it is. So yeah, it is in. I made. I did a test. I just took out a dab of, a dab of grease, and I do have my. Uh, my snap ring groove there that I can clearly see. And if I take it off, well, everything's caked out on the front. So once I take off that caking, it should be just perfectly flush. But I'm not gonna take it off yet. I'm gonna focus on the top, clean off that go ring groove, put my snap ring in, or just probably put the snap ring in with all that grease, just so it can make a permanent seal, or at least the best seal it can, and then, uh, then, then take the excess off. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the snap ring on, Clean the excess, clean the excess on the front, and then uh, proceed with the hub. So now as for the hub insertion or installment, I will be. I'm gonna be using uh, the right bushing for the for this groove here, for the square groove. So of all these guys, I'm gonna pick the best guy who's gonna make it. Probably this gray one, maybe. Yeah, I feel that this green is going to be, be the guy. See, now this is what I'm looking for. Perfect uh, diameter mating. You see here that it just, you can just square it on one corner and it's not square on the other, so I need another one. Never mind. Let's see who's next. Probably this guy. All right, this is the one. This one does a better job. So I'm looking for the guy that best mates with the diameter of that uh, race in the center. You can see that. So I'm basically going to do, I'm going to flip this guy, you guys are going to see the fold, I'm going to flip it on its back and I'm going to install the hub through the front and that'll be it. I did it the way I did it, is remember, you have to set your counter cup on this center race 
because while you're pushing down on the hub and you're actually making it go in you don't want this the race might come off you don't if you don't have it supported if you support the outside you're not supporting the inside this inside is going to come out while you're pushing in the hub so you want to you don't want to fall into that error so yeah you want to support the center push down on the hub and the hub has this heel over here we know you guys can't see it it has a little heel where while you're pushing down you're going to know when you have to stop because it just stops going in and after that you're done right now i'm done with my bearing it's perfect no wibble wobble no nothing has my new snap ring now it's just ready to install won't be it won't be installed today but it will be installed tomorrow so this is the end of the video hopefully this guy this will help you out and always you know just it's a mess but it's a job well done how the messes will be picked up later but the point is doing the job right You're doing the job the best way you can using the best stuff you can on hand and that's it hopefully this will be a blessing for you guys have a nice day